Well, hi guys, Emma again. Welcome back to my shop. It's one of those weekends, and yeah, I'm feeling a bit introverted, I guess, if I'm honest, and not a whole lot like sharing part of my life, but. Um, it's probably good for me to get this video out so this is sort of what I've been doing is the rest of the burner for this little engine I think this is part 8 which is a bit sort of amazing that we've got this far but it's starting to look pretty good um, what this is is three little bits of copper tube with brass caps and ends And this piece of tube's got slots in it where they fit to let the the spirits out into the into the burners and this one's only got one one hole in it for the end. So this is probably one of the more complicated setups on the whole engine. That's what it looks like. That's ready to be soldered up and it looks pretty good. So that's the, the next job to solder it up. I made a little jig out of a piece of hexagon to get them cross drilled nicely. Which is just a, a bit of hexagon bar with a, a hole in it the same diameter as a tube. And then a hole marked and cross drilled. It's nice and easy and quick and plenty accurate enough for this job. And it's also got a built in depth stop so you can get them all in the same spot. So I've done that. I've also cut a piece of tube with a with a shoulder on it to go in here and turn the shoulder and that's the filler cap or the filler pipe probably not particularly necessary but it's on the drawing so that's done and this one have a look just fits in that hole there and that's upside down of course but Next job, I guess, is to settle this up on a nice flat surface on something that's a bit heat proof and get in and solder it up. So let's do that. So that's the first job done is the filler cap soldered in or the filler pipe. So that was about where the battery went flat on the camera. I didn't realise until after I'd had this job done. So I've soldered this up. I haven't got a lot of spare time to wait for a battery to charge and I should have two but I haven't and this is what it looks like it seems to be all watertight and fairly nice that's the burner it's all reasonably square and all that sort of crap which is what it needs to be and that just sits in there and the boiler of course sits over the top and it just lifts out there I made just a bit of brass hexagon too for a filler cap which probably isn't really even needed but might keep some of the dirt out of there and that looks pretty business like now I've been out to the the post office today and I went up to here and Forbes had to get oxy to do some welding here and a few other little things I stopped at the post office and bought some cotton burner wick off eBay so that come so next job is to cut three little bits of that and put in there that's going to be fun but I think it's doable and we'll test him out eh there's three bits 25 mil long it looks like they're even just going to fit in there reasonably well so that's something don't know how nicely trimmed they have to be or anything. Probably better than that. Probably a lot better than that, but we'll see how it works. So 
so that's a pretty fierce sort of a flame out of that I might trim them up a bit and see if we can get it to burn a little bit bluer and a little bit less ferocious and see what happens but um, there we go she's all working so that's the burner finished something else I picked up this morning from the post office which I've which I've had trouble finding is a sheet of copper is 1.2 copper that I bought on eBay nice clean new bit so that'll be the end for the boiler and that'll be sort of makes the the boiler the next job I've got some some other little jobs to do and we'll try and get a video up about that but next video I guess will probably be the boiler ends so that's well and truly underway I bought three little bits of brass rod there too to get it up over I think it was forty dollars and they threw in a, a new steel rule so pretty impressed about that it's a good looking real rule it's nice and easy to read and nice and square on the end I've had this one for a long time that I've been using and that's round not much good for anything so I might just even chuck that out which is probably heresy but I think I'm going to throw that it's not much good for anything anymore there's no way in the world to measure it's about a millimetre short so anyway that's the burner working probably a little bit more ferociously than it needs to and thanks for watching sorry that there hasn't been a whole lot of actual how to do things in this this video it's been been more this is what I did this weekend so I want to say thanks to all my new subscribers as well it's pretty amazing that there's 200 people actually regularly watch this and I hope that's reciprocated to those that actually have channels I usually follow you and like to see your content it's pretty easy to say I haven't got anything to show anyone I'm not going to post a video but really everyone's got something to show you all got a story and it's good to see how other people do it and the more videos you make the more the longer the list of videos that you can make gets there's lots and lots to do I'm going to finish this and I'm going to get my tool post mounted up and there's a huge list of projects but bear with us and thanks for subscribing and really appreciate it leave a comment and more soon guys